Hey guys, Ace here with another card of the day, and today we have Turn Timber Symbiosis, which is a four green, green, green sorcery with look at the top seven cards of your library. You might put a creature card from among them onto the battlefield if that converted amount of cost of the card was three or less, and there's an additional three plus one encounters on it. Put the rest of the bottom of the library in random order. This card also has a land on the other side of it, which is Turn Timber Serpentine Wood. Which comes about full tap unless you pay three life and it adds a green. I think this card is pretty good. I don't think there's any standard deck that wants to play this. That's like a big green stompy deck. Maybe in a green stompy aggro deck where like your three CMC cards are like um, the Noble Beast, where it's a three mana five five that can come in with an extra three counters, to make it an eight eight, which is pretty strong. That way you get your Great Henge in for I think f two green at that point, which is pretty neat. But I don't think it's good in anything else in standard. There's no like huge ramp payoffs or creatures that are played at the moment that would make this just crazy. Um, but I, I can I can imagine a deck where this is just extra gas. I don't think in modern this is gonna be played too much. Maybe there's a deck that wants to play this. Probably something like a um, a escape ship deck. I imagine if it, if they need gas, they could probably work in there somewhere. Other than that, it's probably just like another shock land, unfortunately, where you just have to pay three life most of the time because in those metas. Generally, the format is a little faster, so it's not going to matter too much. And we have decks like EDH, where this, I think, is generally you put in every green deck, especially if you're playing mono green. The, the more green your deck is, the better this card becomes, because that means you're more reliant on creatures, and green decks are generally more reliant on creatures. And so this is, just becomes a four mana um, dig through time, essentially, that puts a creature directly on the battlefield. I guess more like a see the unwritten, which is really good, because you'd rather be playing a creature from the top of your library than playing a land in the late game, right? Which is where you where you draw this, hopefully. And so, in that sense, this card is like pretty bonkers. Because of that, I think you're going to be saying you're going to play it in something like Battle Cruiser to CEDH level. I think Savala Bro Storm would probably want this. Maybe even a Yisan would want this when they get that late. Although Yisan seems to be more of like a toolbox, um, a toolbox slash combo y sort of deck where this might not even be played as much if you have Yisan out. Because if you have Yisan, you just Yisan, right? Like use your three mana for that and not this. Um, I guess it all depends on like the board state at the moment at them at that time. But yeah, this goes in a lot of green decks. You should play it, which really goes to show how like stronger these colors are. Like the green, the the, the red, and the black, and even the blue is compared to white. Where white gives you I guess this whole different video, but the value you get out of this compared to like some of the other mythic legendaries in the Car Rising Lands is just crazy. Especially being able to choose with the high density of creature count uh, creatures in your deck. This is just good. Just a good card. Play it. Anyways, peace out, guys. See you guys later. And tell me what you think about this in the comments below. Peace out.